Let's look at uh, crude oil here this morning. How do we trade news events? How do we trade them? Let's check them out. Okay. We had CPI this morning, Consumer Price Index. And if we are in an uptrend, we had two buy points this morning so far. One pre-market, one pre-market, and one post pre-news, I'm sorry, and one post-news. Now, this is the one that I talked about before news came out. I talked about the control point as a launching point and the low value area volume profile. Now, we never got a market delta that turned positive at the control where we had a beautiful positive market delta right at the low at 45.95. Right here at the low, 45.95, and we had a beautiful positive market delta that got us to turn the market right there. Right there's your positive market delta. Your stop is two ticks below the swing low. So that's the last nice big move from crude. So how did I how did I project buying low value area? The best way to do it is, and this is with news or not news, is that if you're if you're a trend filter, here's the two buy points. Here's a pre-market, pre-market before news came out at seven, right around 745, 750, nice big launching point in crude. There's two profiles on this black chart. This is very easy to remember. It's not hard. Volume profile is a solid line. Solid red is HVA. Solid blue is the most volume that's traded. And solid green is low value area. I go, to, I go over a lot of trades in detail in the PDF at daytradingthefutures.com. So just read that PDF. You'll see a lot of these buy signals like this. You'll see tons of setups like this. If the trend filter is in an uptrend, if the trend filter is in an uptrend, meaning is it angled up, you got three shots at going long. You either buy the break retest of the HVA, buy the break retest of the control point, or the best one you're going to get, and this is the best you can get in an uptrend, is a buy of low value area. The reason why it's a deeper retracement and low value area is your last profile you're allowed to buy in an uptrend. So this projection before the news came out, low value area, it never tested it. A volume profile was a huge launching point for crude. Now pre-market, it was price profile. Now price profile are these small dots and volume profile are these large lines. So those are going to be your launching points to trade off of with news events. The best way to look at it is, is it with the markets in an uptrend, you want to try to get down to what? One of these volume profiles and watch for positive market delta. It's got to come within a couple ticks. It can exceed it. It just can't close below it before positive market delta. So we had, we're, we're two for two today on pre and post news on crude. And these were the two major launching points. That's how you trade news events. You want to trade off the market profile levels. You don't want to trade in no man's land. This is going to generate the volume profile generates a roadmap where the top algorithms will be buying and selling, the top professional traders, the hedge funds, the prop firms. So this is where we want to be. So before even the news came out at 830, you know where a high probability turning point is. And that's how you project stuff because the market was all the way up here. Before news, we were all the way up here. How is it possible you can project a V bottom all the way down here before the news even came out and get a nice launching point like that that's strictly order flow and that's how important volume profile is and price profile volume is more important than price what i like to do find out where volume is first if price overlaps it it gives me a launching point it's a very neat way how to trade news now what i'm looking for is i'm coming up to resistance we're flattening out on the ma i'm looking for the market to do what Hit 37, 38, right here, 39, and then possibly come down and take out the lows right here because I'm hitting resistance now on dual market profile. So here's my next leg down that possibly could happen, which is also an ABC short coming up. So my next now, I'll watch market delta. I'm going to see if it turns negative market delta here. Stop loss two ticks below the, above the swing high and see if we get down to 77. And that's going to be a 35, 45, 50, almost a $500 move with a $130 stop. So it's a really neat way how to trade profile, I mean, off of news, if you just trade off of 
volume and price. The key is volume though. Volume is a launching point with news. So that was a projected news event. Worked out great for us. And look how far price is away. Even though we're at 70, I still pre-market said this is a possible nice launching point at 45.95. That's over 80 ticks away. That's the difference between trading a leading and lagging indicator. The mark was 80 ticks away, and it came right down to it, and it bounced right off my profile. That's not luck. That's not, you know, this happens over and over again. We have hundreds and hundreds of videos like this. If you look at it on our website, the same exact setup, because this is the true order flow of the market. The big, thick lines are the volume of the market. It's taking all the volume of the hedge funds, prop firms, algorithms, it's spitting out these lines of what's happening with the roadmap going forward. So we must understand that and try to trade off of them once news is posted. So we had a pre-news trade. We're running up trend. It hit price profile, pause the market delta, at a nice move. Then we had a projected control point buy and an LVA buy. Moved right through the control point without pause the market delta. Came down to my LVA. My pause the market delta caught the low right there. Two ticks below the swing lot, high, slow as your stop, I'm sorry. And we've had to move. Your fill in the trade was 45.99. We're up to 46.37 as we speak. Now we're coming into resistance on dual market profile. I got volume profile resistance and I got developing right here at 37 also resistance. So what do you do? You can bail 75%, see if you can break through, or you can bail the majority of the position on your contracts. And maybe look for rotation down here at 40 all the way down to 78. All right, that's how you trade news events. Trade off profile trend. We're trading trend retracements. 